Hello again! Welcome to the second part of how to create a shopping cart Java desktop application. In the first part, we cover how to create a Java FX project and how to create the window and the menu our application will use. The menu has two options, the home section and also the shopping cart section. However, we left both sections empty. In this video, we are going to create the home view, which will contain all products available. And this view will be displayed when you click the home icon. In case you haven't watched the first part of this tutorial, I strongly recommend that you do so you can follow along. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by creating the layout where we will add our products. We will be using the grid panel layout, which is like a matrix. To add a component to the grid panel, you need to indicate the column and the row where you want to place your component. So I'm going to create a new package here to keep the code organized. And I'm going to create another fxml file that I will call home.fxml. And this file will contain the layout for the home view. And it will contain the following, a VBOX or vertical box, and inside a grid panel, which is the matrix where we will place the products. The identifier or name for this component is gonna be product grid panel. Note that you can use any identifier that you like. And I will add a padding of 25 pixels in all sides to leave some space between the window border and the products. And I will leave a link in the description from where you can copy this layout. Perfect, so we have our layout file ready. So let's see how to load this layout into our application. This is very similar to what we did in the previous section when we loaded the cart UI. So I will create a class called home view and I will add a constructor to this class. And inside the constructor, I will load the fxml file and then create a get view method so other parts of the program can access the view. So let's create a constructor and then inside I will create a variable of the type URL and then I will do new file and pass the location of the XML file and then I will call to URI and then to URL and I will hold the location of the file. Then I will load the file using the fxmlloader.load and I will pass the file location we just created. And this will return a parent type containing the view with the grid panel inside. And now I'm going to add a field parent to the class which I'm going to call view. And now I'm going to go back to the constructor and I will assign the layout I just created to the field view. You might be wondering, don't we need to call the method show as we did before? We use the method show when we want to display the window. But in this case, we are creating a UI component that we are going to insert in the main scene. And that's why we don't need to call the show method. However, we need a method get view that will return the view so we can access it and then insert it in the main window. Perfect, so we created the home view. So how do we add it to the main window? To do that, we will open the app controller and in the show home view, instead of creating a label with the test home view, 
we are going to replace that with our home view. So I will say new home view dot and then get view. So let's run this and make sure we didn't break anything. And um, perfect, that's working. However, the view is still empty. The reason is that we have created a grid layout or grid panel, but we haven't populated with anything yet. So let's do that now. We want to add products in our grid, so we have products that we can add to our shopping cart. So product is going to be a new class. So let's create a product class. You could actually load the products from a database or a file, but just to keep things simple, I will create the products in memory here. So this class is going to be an enum and the class is going to have two pieces of information. It's going to have the price and the image name. This will be the file name that contains the product image. So I will add a field of type stream and the field is going to be called image file and then another variable which is going to be a float for the price. And then I will add a constructor. So as you can see to create a product, we need to pass as arguments the image file name and then the price and also I will need two getter methods and that is needed so other parts of the application or other classes can access the price and can also access the image file name so you might be wondering why am I using an enum an enum in Java is basically a list of constants so because I'm just gonna use four products um, the price and everything else is going to be just constant, it makes sense to use an enum. However, in a real scenario, you will probably load the products from a database. So, all right, so let's create the products first. So I will add an apple and then the file name is going to be apple jpg and the price 55 cents. And please note here that I have downloaded the product images from Google. So you can just use any image that you like. And in case you want to use the same images that I use, there is a link in the description from where you can download the images. Okay, so we have the apple and we are going to have milk as well. And the image file is going to be milk dot uh, jpg and then the price is going to be 78 cents and then use and the file will be use dot jpg and the price 56 cents and then let us so now that we have the products available let's see how to populate the grid panel to do that we are going to need a controller and then linking the fxml interface and the controller. So I will create a class called home controller and now we'll open the fxml file and in the root node, which is the one right here, the vbox, I will add the controller attribute. So fx and then controller equal and here I will add the controller class including the package. So com dot hello code dot hoping shopping cart dot home controller. Perfect. Now the controller and the fxml file are connected. So the way this will work, the home view will load the fxml file, which will create a grid panel. And right after the grid panel should be populated. We can achieve that by adding a method called initialize in the controller. So I will open the controller and then I will say add fxml and then public void and initialize. Since we want to populate the grid panel 
we need a reference to it. So I will say add fxml and then private grid panel which is the type and then the ID of the grid panel which in this case is product grid panel. Perfect, so let's go back to the initialize method and populate the grid now. So first I will clear the grid or the matrix. So I will do product grid panel dot get children's and I will call the method clear. And to start we will just populate the grid with the product names so we can use just labels. And later we will see how to add a more complex view with an image and other stuff. So I will create a label which will be label and then the variable name will be label1 and then new label and product.apple.name. And I'm gonna also add some space between the labels. So I will say label1 dot set padding and then new inset and then five 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 the four numbers are the space at the top right button and left and now that we have the label i need to insert it in the grid panel so i will do product grid panel dot add and then i will pass what i want to insert which is label one and then this cell where I want to insert the label. So in this case it will be 0, 0. So that will be the top left corner. And I will do exactly the same for the other three products. So I will change the name and the cell. Note here that the first parameter is the column and the second one is the row. So the second product will go in cell one zero so second column first row and the next one will go into two zero and so on awesome so that will populate the grid panel with the product labels so let's run the program again and there you go all labels are there however that could look much better because we could add images the price and a button to add products to the shopping cart just like the view that you can see on the right so let's see what we need to create this view we will need a vertical box or a v-box and then inside we will use an image view then we will have a label with a product name then another label with the price and then a button to add products to the cart. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna open the home controller and I will create a method that will return a VBOX and the method name is gonna be product view or it could also be create product view and the parameter will be the product itself. So in other words, this method is gonna create a view that we just talked about. So first thing, is creating the vbox and then I will do layout dot set alignment and post dot center and as you probably guess this will horizontally center all components inside the layout and now let's create the image view so the first thing the image view needs is an image so to load the image I will do file input stream then input as the variable name equal new file input stream and then the image location so this will load the image file into our application and next i will do image variable name image and then equal new image and the file and now i will create the image view so image view and then the variable name will be image view equal new image view and as a parameter I will pass the image and here because I want all the images to be the same size I will do image view dot set feed width and the width here will be 100 
and the height is going to be 100 as well. Perfect, so we have our image view, which will contain the product image. So next I will create a label with the product name, then another label with the price, and you can use here any currency you like, and also a button, so button, and then the variable will be add button equal, and a new button, and the test in the button will be add to cart. And now we need to add all these components to the VBOX layout. So layout.getchildrens.addAll and then pass all the components. At last, I will return the layout. So now that we can create the product view for any product, let's go back to the initialize method and replace the labels with the new product view. So I will do vbox and the variable name will be product view one and then equal and then I will call the product view method we just created passing the apple as the product and just as before I will insert the view in the first cell so it will be column zero and row zero and I will do exactly the same for the other three products. And just a small note here, I have saved the product images in uh, the resource folder under the main folder. So perfect, that's all we need to do to create the home view. So let's run the application again and see what we get. And amazing, our home view is now populated with all products, with images and with prices. And that will be the end of this section where we have seen how to populate the home view with products. In the next video we will see how to create the cart view which will display all products in our shopping cart and the quantity and the total. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.